do do what I have to do today laundry get my car fixed Oh my god, it's here. 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 <laughs> Did I say I had some errands to do? Well, that. We're going to rip this box. Woo! As you can see, I'm super excited to get this box open. Oh my god. I have been waiting for this for almost six months now. Shout out to Michael Bodner. I don't know if anybody here knows him. He, I found him in a Facebook group. It might be in Mike O's. I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, this was sent to him by me in late August. He might have gotten out in early September. And here we are at the beginning of March. So that's the turnaround time right now from PSA. What I love doing most on these videos is showing off my grades because I don't even know them. So they are brand spanking new to everybody except Mr. Bodner. Uh, this is going to be a little preview because I have an Excel spreadsheet of, I know what was sent to him, but I don't have the grades. Little preview. So we've got a judge in there that I'm looking forward to. And we have, I think a few Mookies in there that I'm excited about. So let's feature those cards out front here. And I'm going to get into this box. Now, I'm going to give you a sick hip-hop beat to listen to while I get this unpacked. I'm a big stickler for having people open packages on camera and it being kind of boring. So I'm going to speed up the camera here. I hate unboxing on camera. All right, that's out of the way. As you can see, all the cards were pulled out backwards, so I still have no idea what is what. Let's start with, I know there's one vintage card in here. It's a pretty big one. Um, we're not, I don't see that one popping out here. Let's start with this Mike Trout. This is a 2017 Topps Chrome. And we've got the turn. Prism Refractor, so shiny! Woo! Gotta love the tens. Card number one. Good start. Can we go two for two on Mr. Trout? This is a 2013, I think, Bowman Platinum. I don't know why the tops is there. I know tops makes Bowman. Um, ooh, seeing a little edge wear on the top. Hoping for that ten. Oh, pulled the nine. Loving the chine. It is a Bowman Platinum. Okay. Moving on to the next. I've got a Mookie here. Put that to the side. Oh, those are both Mookie. Let's see here. I have a JD Martinez popping out. Now, let's save some of the Red Sox together. Here's an Otani. Not really sure which exact card this is. Oh my god. That was terrible. Instant impact. Probably a centering issue here, unfortunately. PSA 8. Gross! I'll just be cracking that one out, most likely. On that right-hand pile there, I see a Francisco Lindor popping out. So, this is opening day. I think this was a rainbow foil, if I'm not mistaken. This was pack pulled by me. PSA 10, Mr. Lindor. Yep, blue foil. Not rainbow. My apologies. 
All right, let's pull some more tens here, shall we? This one here looks like a Jose Ramirez rookie card. I don't know why. I'm just not feeling a 10 on this one. I feel like one of the corners may have been soft when I sent it out. 2014. There's only one way to find out. All right. Like what I'm surprised. They don't think of another card that I had sent. This is a 2014 Bowman Ramirez. Hoping he has a bigger uh, turnaround to this. 2018 he fell off a cliff last August and September and uh, his card prices reflected that unfortunately Let's see a Benintendi here we're gonna try to keep all the Red Sox together here's a Verlander and a JD below him gosh what card is this I don't even remember sending this one in all right let's find out PSA 10 Woo -hoo -hoo, 2008 that's why I don't remember this. I think I found this in a dollar bin at a card show. Also serial numbered here. 93 out of 149. Fans 12 batters during a no hitter. So it's got historical significance there. And I think I liked it because of the serial number. Still haven't found that judge. This is a JD Martinez. So I think these are all Red Sox now. Pull this our pile back out here. This is a Mookie. There's the judge. I kind of want to save that one. All right. This one, some people would not call vintage per se. I think this might have been in my collection for quite a long time. I mean, you can see how sharp that is in the back. Almost perfectly centered. 1981 Tops Ricky Henderson. I think a 10 will be really tough in this one. Hoping for a 9. Let's find out. Oh, 7. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Mm. I think the, I'm seeing the centering top to bottom now. Might be an issue there. It looks good going out. Bummer. All right, sneaking out here is one of the vintage card that I wanted to hold off on. I'm gonna move this M back as well. And we've got a Jordan coming up. Oh, I also see some Tom Brady's there too. I have done really well with my Jordans. This is a 94-95 uh, upper deck. I've brought back a lot of 10s on these, so let's see what we got. Ooh, got the 9 here. 95 Collegiate Choice, is that what that is? MJ, PSA 9. Might as well get into the Brady's. Is, I think we have a few of them here. This is going to be a 2006. It's black, so I guess I'd be shocked here if this comes out of 10. Mint 9, and the Bowman 2006. Mr. Brady, I think it's just a base card. I wouldn't have sent these if I knew they didn't have a good shot out of 10, other than that Henderson so far and the, the other uh, vintage card I'm about to show. This is a 2003 Classics Brady. Can we grab the 10 here? Yes! Woo! 2003 Dundas Classics Tom Brady. That one I did well on. Loving this one. Third year cards of Brady. Trying to get more of those graded. And we've got... Oh, this is a Gronkowski rookie. Remember sending this one in. So that might be it for Brady. I think I only have two in this order. I've got two other orders uh, being processed by Dustin Bellinger right now. Um, one just went out in the mail last week, so that one we're going to expect probably around football season, and I know they have a bunch of Brady's in them too. But uh, here we go with the Gronk. Boom! Gronkowski rookie, PSA 10. No chine on this one, but got to love that one. So we're down to Red Sox there in that pile. Judge and a unknown uh, rookie card there, a vintage. So we're saving that one until the very end. Let's get on with the mooks. Updates. I think I pulled this one myself. Here's a 10. I think this is the short print. Oh, gorgeous. 2017 tops update. I'm almost certain this is um, the SP there. Loving that, yes!
All right, got to interject here. I think I'm fairly pleased with what I've seen so far. That Otani was a big hit. Uh, other than that, I think I've been very satisfied with almost all these. Obviously, hate getting less than a 10 on anything, but, um, you know, we've pulled a bunch of them so far. Probably roughly half. Oh, not with this gold J.D. Martinez 2012 tops. Yucky, yucky, yucky. Mint 8 there. Near mint to mint 8. And these are serial numbered. Yeah, right there at the top. 1092 out of 2012. Crap. Not good. Just realized I jinxed myself. I should not have said anything prior to showing that card there. So I'm not going to say a word. I'm so upset with these grades so far. <laughs> uh, next one up, as you can see, Mr. Benintendi. Tops here. Mint 9. These, um, these refractors are really tough. Got the shine. Very shiny. Just hoping for a 10 there, of course. Alright, so I can see this is another JD Martinez. This is going to be from 2010. So we're looking at a rookie card here. Oh man, would I be so happy with a 10 here. Whew, I'm almost afraid to turn this over. <laughs> oh, yuck. Pull the 8. Chrome Prospect. JD Martinez. Anybody see what's wrong with this one here? I'm not spotting it. There's a mark on the case, and that's about it. Might be a little tad off center. Ugh. Might be a couple Mookies left here. I know that's one peeking out. This was a fun card. It's actually in a bigger holder. I believe it's a museum collection. And it's fairly, I'm fairly certain it's serial numbered. Uh, probably on the front there. So let's check her out. Yuck. Another eight. This is numbered to 199. Oh, really disappointed towards the end here. Oh, man, oh, man. Black borders are so difficult to pull a 10 on. And that card is not a freaking 8. What are they looking at? Centering issues somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. Really hoping for it. Out of the three cards I've got left, two 10s here. So we've got a Betts and the Judge. All right, 2018 opening day. There's a 10. So this was a short, uh, excuse me, a short print as well. Love this card. And I'm very happy about that one. So at least the SPs have been getting great grades on. Add that to the Mookie collection. All right, so I said I was gonna save the vintage for last. This one here, this is a silver ice from Bowman. For Mr. Judge, all rise. Um, I think this is going to be tough on the centering. I will be shocked if it's a 10. But uh, if it is a 10, um, I think I purchased it raw for about 15 bucks, and it's going to be worth around 100 or so uh, in a 10. Here we go. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Oh, yes! Great finish, great finish. Oh. I am so happy with this one. Oh my god. Love it. Any judge heads out there, let me know if you're interested in this card. We can work out a deal. Silver Ice from 2014 Bowman Draft Picks. Oh, yes. That one just made the submission right there. And finally, the card I've been most excited for this whole time. This whole submission really... Oh god, I almost showed the... The card there, I didn't see that great. I don't know if he could have on camera. So this is the Joe Morgan, I think 65, yeah, 65 tops. Card number 16. Um, back, you can see there, looks fairly good. Um, got a rough corner up here in the top. So I think I would be happy with a five here. A little surprise if it gets higher than that. I got this from the local card show. I actually did a trade with a dealer there. I gave him a lot of uh, Red Sox 50s and 60s commons. 
uh, for this. So uh, we're both happy with our ends of the deal. And uh, let's finally see the grade here. So can I pull higher than a five? I'll be really upset if it's a four or lower. All right, so right around what we expected. Got the excellent five. There's the front of it. Centering just a little bit off left to right there, but um, the card was pretty sharp otherwise. I'm happy with a five here and to continue adding to the rookie card collection. Man, those videos are fun. That is such a blast to open those up completely blind to what the grades are and have no idea. And you can see my reaction on camera. Uh, my first, very first video I talked about on my one year anniversary was uh, a PSA unboxing. Did the same exact thing and I've been excited to do it ever since. I think this is about PSA number four, or four that I've put in. I've got two in the works, probably another couple in 2019, we hope. So anyway, please like and subscribe if you love what you see. And we'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.